How's it going everyone? Hope you're all well. Good afternoon. Welcome on to the first YouTube live cutting. Now guys give me a thumbs, a thumbs up. Let me know you can hear me all okay. The other thing I want you to do guys if you can hear me um, you should be looking at the stickers, uh, sorry the magnets. Um, awesome. We've got all sounds all good. So guys before we go any further, um, I need you to do me a massive favour. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell and also give me a like. Hit that like button, guys. Let me know you're all here, okay? We're going to do the first live egg cutting here in the HQ, in the new HQ. It's the second clutch of the year. Um, so really looking forward to this. I'm going to share a few things with you as well. Uh, try and keep this short but sweet and very informative so thanks for hitting that like button thanks for coming in and thanks for joining us okay big shout out first of all to boss rat if you guys aren't following them on instagram get over and give them a follow they have these awesome magnets as well for sale um, i don't know who this guy is but he's meant to be pretty good um, awesome magnets so get over there give um, boss rat a follow uh, that'd be much appreciated so tonight or today or this evening's egg cutting is all about um, the second clutch of the year. Okay, this was a blackhead male. He's a hundred percent het hypo, bred to a Enchi calico yellow belly female. Now, what's interesting about this is we're going to see a good combination of the uh, blackhead within the combos. Fingers crossed. Um, we are on day 52 and we've got pippers, which is about right for me. They normally pip around about then. I'm going to go over a few things uh, which I do in my other videos. So uh, let's get this going. I know a few of you have got other things to be doing, but I'm going to try and get this set up for you guys so we can get into the egg cutting. Hopefully you guys can see all good. Okay, there's a couple of golden rules that I run by guys. How they lay is how they stay. And what I mean by that is I don't separate the eggs, I leave them as they are. Okay, so if they're laid in a clump like so, I leave them in a clump. And there's a good reason for that. So first and foremost, in the wild, um, they don't separate their eggs, they leave them as they are. Um, and I've had no issues with that whatsoever. However, if you want to split them apart and rotate them, because I know a few breeders rotate them, so the embryos at the top, you can do that. I just don't want to rip my eggs or stand a chance of ripping eggs. You can repair the eggs, it's not a problem, um, but for me, I like to leave them as they are, how they lay is how they stay. If they are all loose, then what I do is I use a hatch tray, okay? And the one I prefer to use is the Dragon Hatch tray. Again, if you're not following Dragon Hatch, get over to Dragon Hatch, give them a follow. Um, as you can see, they hold 10 eggs, um, but they're at an angle, okay? So, which works really well, and they can hold bigger eggs as well. So, um, if you don't, if you haven't seen this product, get over there and give them a follow, okay? So, Dragon Hatch trays on Instagram. So if the eggs are loose, I will put them on a hatch tray and put them on the incubator, or in the incubator, should I say. So, as you can see, hopefully you guys can hear me because I'm going to step a little bit away. The pairing was a blackhead, 100% het hypo, to a Enchi Calico yellow belly female. So we're going to make some blackhead combos. Um, I love blackhead. I didn't do anything blackhead last year. I gave my blackheads the year off. Um, but this year I'm going for super blackheads, uh, super blackhead hypos, and combination of what we've got here and some other bits and pieces. So, um, we're on day 52, and we've already got one, two pippers. Now, the one thing I want to do, guys, and share this with you, um, a lot of people go, when to cut eggs? When do I cut my eggs? Well... What I look for is when they can easily pull apart. So if they're clumped together like so, you should be quite easily just to pull them apart like so. Okay, very easy. 
simple. That's one thing I look for. The other thing I do is I also feel the egg and feel for a snake. So I can feel a snake in there. I can feel it pushing back. So that's how I gauge when to cut my eggs. I get a lot of questions when to cut eggs. Um, sometimes I wait for them to pip. And again, you're only going to know this by knowing your incubator. Knowing your incubator and incubation method and sort of in your second year or second or third clutch into your first season. So um, you kind of get used to how your incubator is and how everything works. So that's what I do when I look at cutting eggs. Now what I normally do, I wait for them to pip. Now I know my incubation method and I know my incubator runs at, at roughly, they start to pip at 52 days. Anything after 52 days, I then start to look at and keep an eye on and then I start to um, think about cutting. Obviously if you guys want to know how I incubate and, and my incubation methods, get onto my um, older videos and you'll see how I set up my egg boxes. So, my egg boxes are idiot proof, they are set up with vermiculite, I don't measure the water because I don't need to because they are on a crate and it's called suspended incubation. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that crate out and I'm going to put my dragon hatch tray in like so. Okay, so we're going to get on with the egg cutting uh, without further ado. So this was the first one that picked. Let's see if we can get in. Is that better guys? Somewhere about there. Okay, so this was the first one that picked this morning. Um, as you can see, this egg was actually lying that way on the clutch, okay? Um, so what I do, I put a black dot that I know was the top of the egg. So people say to me, why do I use a black dot? Um, I use it just to tell me where the top of the egg is because obviously now, once I make my cut, I'm gonna lie the egg down, okay? This little baby's had multiple cuts. So let's get in and I haven't seen what's in these. I haven't seen no egg whatsoever, okay? Um, quick question, any pros and cons to egg cutting and not cutting? Well, let's put it like this. If I don't cut the eggs and they drowned in the egg or they have an umbilical cord that's wrapped round, they could end up dying. I'd rather open the egg, make sure the baby's all okay. Uh, and obviously, you know, we're gonna see what's inside, which is fantastic, it's like Christmas. Um, but for me, the predominant reason is to make sure that the babies are healthy and that they're gonna come out all okay on their own, okay? So, first thing we do, big hands, little scissor time my special scissors, so we're not going to hurt the snake. We're just going to make, because this is this one's already sort of made its way out, so we're just going to cut some little slots like so. At this point, it doesn't matter if we hit a vein. So the first one is either a yellow belly. That looks pretty, uh, it's either a yellow belly or a normal, okay? Most of the fluid's already gone, so we'll just let him or her do their thing. Next one. And the other thing I do, I just roll the egg like so. Okay, just to try and take down any of the veins that may be at the top. Um, and all I do, make a small incision like so. Push the scissor to the top of the egg. You're gonna you're gonna hit a few veins, but it's not the end of the world. At this point, the veins really aren't important. Wow. Okay. This is a beauty. So that looks to be like a yellow belly blackhead. 
Uh, I'm just waiting for the camera to catch up. So that looks like the yellow belly blackhead. See all the gold flames coming up? Hopefully you can see it. Okay. Right. So that's a yellow belly blackhead. And Ralph Davis made some amazing blackhead yellow belly combos back in the day. And yellow belly works really well with blackhead. So if you're looking at stuff to do, make sure you do um, you know, some blackhead, had, had yellow belly in there. We've got Kevin over at DK Royals, he's in the house, he loves his yellow belly stuff. Uh, Ridiculous Reptiles, thanks for the shout out guys, thanks for all the likes, I really do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. We've got MJ Designs as well. <clears throat> so we've got another one that's picked. Okay, as you can see. that guys so that could be an enchi yellow belly hopefully you can see yeah perfect so that one looks like a um, enchi yellow belly uh, again we've got the yellow belly coming up okay the fire and then we've got this bandy pattern there okay so that looks like an enchi yellow belly but obviously we'll know once it comes out it might be another no nah. It's not another blackhead, but that looks like an enchi yellow belly. So we've got six eggs on this clutch. So we're halfway through. Oh my God, I just need to stop and show you some of guys. So this one, the first one, looked really strange to me. And it looks strange because the coils, the individual coils are quite small, okay? And what I've just noticed is that actually this is twins so we have twins okay so this one this one is a twin so there's twins we've got two babies in there that's awesome so that's the first the first twins for the 2021 season 2021 season twins so six eggs seven babies so as i was saying Let's get back to the fourth egg. I have great success with twins. Um, a lot of people don't have success. Um, my success rate on twins is pretty great. Um, so yeah, love hatching twins. Wow. Okay. Wow. Pretty much absorbed most of the fluid, so I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. So hopefully you guys can see that. So that looks like a yellow belly calico blackhead. Okay. Possible entry, obviously I won't know until it comes out, but that looks awesome, beautiful. So you can see what I mean with blackhead and yellow belly, you know, that's the yellow belly blackhead, that works really well. Yellow belly and blackhead um, does work well. Um, so yeah, so, so far, so good. Let's get on to egg number five. I know a few of you are asking questions, guys. Um, I will try and answer some questions as, as we go. But at the moment, let's just get into the egg cutting. Okay. That looks like a nice entry very orange and that's something you want to look for in your enches and your entry line you want to try and aim for very you know vibrant enches vibrant in color um, it's a fantastic line then um, 
I don't see yellow belly, I just think it's a beautiful entry. So, last egg. So far, from what I can see, we probably hit one, one calico combo. Which, if it's a female, I'll probably be stopping. Okay. Uh, that looks to be like a, um, it's definitely a yellow belly, it could be Enchi, hopefully you can see that. Okay, again we're looking at the flames coming up and we're looking at the banded pattern. A lot of this time when they're in the egg it is kind of guesswork, so um, we could have two yellow belly Enchis. But one looks darker than the other, so the other one, I think this one, could have blackhead. But again, we'll see once it comes out, and we'll see what's what. So, you know, definitely Enchi, definitely Yellow Belly, and again, that's Yellow Belly. It's quite dark, it's not blackhead. Um, well, I don't think it's blackhead, but we'll see. Um, again, that's a blackhead Yellow Belly. Okay, let's check out the twins, see if we can see double heads. Just take the These guys are ready to come out. And what you'll find with twins, guys, is they will obviously be smaller than um, a non twin um, egg. But I have no problems with twins, they always seem to do very well. There's one head, and the other one head's a bit further down. so. That's a nice surprise. Happy with that. This looks like it's going to be the. This is definitely calico. This is definitely yellow belly, and this is definitely um, blackhead. Possible entry, but that looks phenomenal. Already in the egg, it looks. Yeah, looks beautiful. So hopefully. Um, that's a female so there we have it guys first live egg cutting in the HQ of 2021 um, so if you have any questions put them up now I'll try and answer them as best as possible um, let's just sort that out Has anyone here more than twins in one egg? I don't think many people have had more than I've only seen twins. I, I haven't seen anything more, mate. If that answers your question, Liam. Um, there's a few other questions. Where do you get your egg boxes from? Um, Wham shoe boxes is what I use. If you Google them, Wham. Not sure if you can see the, the brand. W H A M Wham, or check out one of my previous videos, um, and you'll be able to see what I use. Um, thanks for all the congratulations. Beautiful little clutch. Um, really pleased. Uh, what's the hottest box can run in the incubator before complications? Um, I wouldn't like to to run my incubator box hotter than um, eighty nine. My incubator sits at 91, within my incubator sits just under 91, and within my egg boxes it runs at 89. So, and that's Fahrenheit, obviously, guys. So, I uh, hope that works, hope that answers. Yeah, the Wham is the 9 litre one on Amazon. Uh, you can just Google it. Uh, when would you expect them to shed? So, their first shed is normally around about 10 days after they come out the eggs. What I'll do from here, I will leave them in the egg box, I'll put them back in the incubator, okay, 
and then I'll wait till they've come out and once they've all come out then I will wash them down get all the gunk off them get all the vermiculite and then I'll set them up in a tub with um, a kitchen roll uh, make sure it's it's wet not not sodden but it's not damp it's got to be wet uh, and I will leave them and let them um, hatch out uh, sorry I will leave them and let them shed out and then after that I will separate them and then normally around about seven days after they've shed out they'll start feeding again or they'll start to feed should I say not again will the, ta will the snake typically uh, try to pip at the bottom of the egg no because um, it will try and work its way up however that first egg that you saw um, the reason why it was cut in multiple places now explains because um, we have twins in that egg so um, yeah that's what I that's why it's, it's cut a little bit lower down this time because there was twins in that egg but if you looked at the second one that had picked it was actually picked right on top I will offer Tom I will offer food around about seven days and it will be alive their first uh, feed will be alive Yeah, guys, fits family constrictions. Every time the like button gets uh, pushed, you know, US Ark win another case for reptiles. And guys, I want to stress, listen, I know we're in the UK, and I know you may be in Europe or other parts of the world, but trust me, we need to support US Ark because if we don't support US Ark, our countries, our governments will try and implement what's going on over there. So let's help the US, let's help Canada, let's help and stop the fight there. Let's, let's all badger together, whether you breed snakes, reptile, you know, other reptiles. Let's all get behind each other and help each other. Um, let's all support US Ark, guys. Massive supporter. I've already donated. Um, and it doesn't matter if you want to donate or not, or if you can afford it or not. You know, share a post, share, get people out there, and just let's support US Ark. Um, have I ever tried maternal incubation? Yes, I have, and I've stressed the whole way through. So I'll never do it again. Um, I prefer to do it this way, artificially do it, because I just find um, it's a lot less stressful on me and on the mum. But that's my opinion. Um, last, uh, live ASF hoppers or smaller. Yeah, live. Um, so what I feed, obviously, African soft-furred rats, guys. What I um, will do is I will offer a hopper. And the reason why I offer a hopper is because it helps them kick in their food instinct okay so i do offer a, a hopper um, and one that, that tends to bounce around a lot because i love that um driving and listening yeah no worries listen guys i really appreciate everyone tuning in um hopefully i've answered a few questions um i'm just trying to see if i've missed any um Uh, thanks, uh, congratulations, 4S Pythons, thanks for that. Um, Malcolm's Morph, super cool clutch, can't wait for the eggs to be ready. Yeah, uh, yeah. so I think I've answered, I can't see many questions, but guys, if I haven't missed any questions, I apologise. Um, when will you be updating your Morph market? Really soon, um, obviously... Um, I've sold out the first clutch, sold out, that's all gone, so this is the second clutch, um, so yeah, I'll figure out once they come out, see what I want to keep, and then I'll post uh, on Morph Market, uh, so again, if you're not following me on Morph Market, guys, get over, follow me on Morph Market, because it's first come, first serve, okay, um, anything else, guys, any more questions, uh, okay cool well thanks for tuning in guys i hope you've enjoyed this you've witnessed the first twins of the 2021 season the next egg cutting rob will be uh i believe in about three weeks time uh, and that will be the batman clutch so looking forward to that one um yeah so again guys if you're not subscribed Please subscribe hit that notification bell and hit that like button it really does make a difference guys and also 
Um, if you're not following me on Morph Market, get over on Morph Market. Check me out on Instagram as well. But thanks for witnessing the first clutch, uh, the first set of twins, should I say, for 2021. I really do appreciate it. Okay. But listen, I hope you're all well. Take care, everyone. Uh, remember, go and enjoy your evening. And I'll see you guys in the next one.